Welcome back to the Copywriters Podcast with your host, the world's greatest copywriting coach, David Garfinkel. David, how are you doing today? I'm good, Nathan. How are you? I am fantastic because, as the viewers already know and the listeners are about to find out, we have one of my favorite guests back on the show, returning champ for I don't know how many times, but uh, always a great conversation. Yeah, I think he's been here. I think this is number seven. Uh, Joshua Lee Henry, welcome. So when you're writing a long-form sales letter, you've got to cover a lot of info, and some of it is quite detailed. The problem is... How do you keep your reader engaged and keep the excitement building all the way through? And suppose you know you need to use stories, but you're so tired of the worn out hero's journey format. Okay, our returning champion today, Joshua Lee Henry, has recently solved those problems and wrote a home run promo featuring a very exciting expert, a veteran of high level military intelligence. He ended up using a number of different persuasion stories, and he agreed to come on the show today, tell us what he did, why he did it, and how he did it. But first, I'm going to tell you this. Copy is powerful. You're responsible for how you use what you hear in this podcast. And most of the time, common sense is all you need. But if you make extreme claims, and or if you're writing copy for offers in highly regulated industries like health, finance, business opportunity, you may want to get a legal review after you write and before you start using your copy. My larger clients do this all the time. So Joshua, welcome and, and thanks for being here. Absolutely, David. Glad to be on the show again. I always love our conversations. Just to start out, um, tell us what the promo was, who it was for, how it did, how it's doing, how it compares to other promos, that kind of thing. Just set the context, if you would. Yeah, certainly. So I am a copy chief for the Agor company, Banyan Hill. We are a financial publisher and we had brought over a new guru to my franchise that we wanted to launch a back end for. The issue, some of the hurdles that we had to overcome was that this was a new guru. Uh, so he had not a lot of uh, relationship with the franchise. Uh, he did not have a front end. So there are no front end buyers in the financial publishing space. The strategy is that you acquire a front end customer for a low dollar ticket amount and then make your money back through the lifetime value and upsells on the back end. Let me let me translate that to non financial buyers. It's like anything else. You've got to know the person. Usually you've got to already sort of have a feel for them and some relationships, some experience, some track record before you're willing to plunk down a bunch of money. Right. Yep, exactly. And so that's that's the model. But this guy had a lot of credibility, a very interesting story, and he had a new a new back end service that was built around an artificial intelligence strategy, which is really hot right now. And so we were thinking with this credibility, with this AI strategy, and with the phenomenal track record that he had, that that would give us enough uh, you know momentum to to get over the hurdle of not having a front end list. And uh, thankfully, we were right. You know, obviously, we used a lot of the story techniques that we're going to talk about today that I learned from you in your your wonderful new book, The Persuasion Story Code. Um, but, you know, it was a success because of the great material that I had to work with. And so um, some of the quick kind of numbers on this to give our, our listeners an idea, this was a huge success for us. Um, it had a 2.9% conversion rate on Hotlist uh, launch day, which is a very, very good number. Um, we so far to date have brought in uh, just over $785,000. So we anticipate this will clear a million dollars by the end of the year, which again, for a new guru on a franchise without a front end list uh, is very good, especially in this market right now. It has been the number one selling back end promo at Banyan Hill since it launched two months ago in, well, in October. So October and November, a month and a half. And it was the number three uh, selling back-end promo in all of Agora for those two months. And so it it only lost out to two back-end bundles. A bundle offer is where you have multiple products together at a much higher price point. And so, uh, you know, those go to existing customers that usually have at least one front end and a usually one or two back ends. And so uh, considering all the, you know, those those pieces, the, the market environment, the fact that this was a new guru to a new franchise without a front end, 
And this was a very high priced back end product. We launched with a uh, $1,495 one year offer, tested against a $3,000 10 year offer. And so the 10 year offer won in our testing. That means we got 340 people, the majority of which spent $3,000 to sign up for a 10 year service with a guy that they did not know. That's the other impressive. piece of it, the other piece of it is because he had no front end file to send to, we had to sell this service to other people's customers. Yeah. Uh, it did yeah. so well. It did so well that other Agora affiliates like Oxford Club and Money Map Press and uh, Paradigm Press, which is the old, the, uh, the, the new name for Agora Financial, they are all sending this with success as well. And so um, it, it is very good for us. It's been a winner and it's going to be able to be ran every month throughout 2024 as well. We recorded some dates for trades every month. And so there's a, a way to balance both the urgency and the evergreen nature to this promo. So that's kind of the, the you know, the groundwork to set the stage here. You were stepping up to bat with, with two strikes against you, right? Or, or your hands tied yes. behind your back because, but anyway, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Please go on. Well, yeah, you're right. You know, we, again, new guru, no list, but I did feel like I had a couple of uh, aces up my sleeve. Number one, this guru had great credibility. And we're going to talk about how I use that credibility in the stories that we told in the promo. Number two, and this is classic copywriting 101, we were entering the story already going on in the customer's head. As I said earlier, the market is very top of mind aware of artificial intelligence right now. And so that's really the only topic that's that's working in the financial publishing space is AI based promos. And this guru with tons of credibility had an AI system with an incredible track record. So we, we felt like those two things would give us, uh, like I said, the momentum to, to break through those other other barriers. And it did. And so that, you know, the opening comments for the promo is that, you know, you always want to enter the story going on in the customer's head. Uh, you know, maybe you've heard that before that you, you want to enter the conversation going on. But the reality is all of our prospects have a story playing in their mind 24 seven. And so if you can tap into that story and show how your character, your solution ties into that belief that they already have in their story, you can have a winner. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, I've, I've never heard it expanded from the conversation going on in their head to the story, but you're absolutely right. Uh, I love that. Well, you want to want to tell us about all the stories, because obviously you think that's a big part of it. And and, and I really mean this. I'm I'm not trying to flatter you as a guest. I really mean this. Of all the people I know who've read my book, you seem to have taken it in, internalized it appreciated it, seen it, and now applied it better than anyone else. And um, maybe it's because of all of your background in sales and ministry and and um, other things where you really understand story at a deep level already in the persuasion space. But uh, yeah, t tell, tell us about how you did it. Well, I appreciate those comments, David, and I love the book. I think it's one of the best copywriting books ever written again. And I'm not blowing smoke as a guest to you uh, as the host, but it, it is a powerful book. And really the entire promo that I have, uh, the Apex Profit Calendar is the name of the, the promo. It's wrapped up in a couple of key stories. Those three key stories, again, that you talk about in your book uh, are number one, the reassurance story. And, and we'll dive deeper into examples of all of these, but number one, a reassurance story. And it's a reassurance story wrapped up in a metaphor. And that is key because one of the things when you're introducing a new topic or a new idea is that you want to tie it to the familiar. You, you know, you've got the line in your book uh, about Hollywood writers and TV show writers. They want something uh, new, but familiar. They want something, you know, new, but something similar to what they already have experience with. And you can do that through the power of metaphor. And the metaphor that we use in this promo as the structure is creating this AI based profit calendar. So everybody knows what a calendar is. Everybody knows what a calendar is. AI, that seems so, you know, vague and out there and high, you know, future oriented and sci fi, but I can grasp what a calendar is. And so that was the metaphor that we housed the promo in. The second great story that we used is this very powerful 
origin story. Again, you talk about this in the book. And in the origin story, we, we paired the guru qualification stories with the track record stories. Because again, uh, the, our back test so, show for this new service, it had phenomenal results. And we'll talk about those. The third story that we used in this promo, uh, this is really in the body and in the offer sections. Uh, it was a combination of um, basically the uh, the improved status stories. And so stories that predict the future. These are improved status stories. They are future transformation stories. They are unexpected benefit stories. So they're all about the future result that the prospect will experience when they buy your service. And so we are going to make their lives better. And these stories show them how. That's great. Oh yeah, that's good. You 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 really you really went to school on and all this stuff, and and you really put it into action professionally. Love it. Well, so what we're going to do now, David, is look at key section stories in the promo. And what I'll do is I'll pause every few lines to explain what I you know why I wrote what I did. Uh, but again, the context is that this is a metaphor that Mike's uh, the guru's name is Mike Carr that his new service, his new strategy is an AI based system uh, that created a predetermined calendar for rolling your investment wins over from month to month to month, allowing those gains to compound over time for even bigger profits. That's that's kind of the uh, the synopsis. That is the thesis of the promo. And we explicitly say that, in fact, verbatim uh, a couple of times in the promo to really drive home that point. But the lead, the beginning, the intro of this promotion starts uh, with Michael Carr introducing himself. He says, hello. I'm retired Lieutenant Michael Carr. As one of our military's original computer scientists behind the development of artificial intelligence and a successful hedge fund manager, I've spent the last 40 years leading at the front lines of our nation's defense and financial sectors. Along the way, I've built advanced technology systems for billion dollar firms, influencing both Washington DC and Wall Street. I've written two best-selling investment books and I've done private seminars for the U.S. Treasury Department, as well as international banking organizations like the Central Bank of Nigeria, Brazil, and the Saudi Stock Exchange. As such, I'm regularly called on to mentor vice presidents at Goldman Sachs, and I've been recognized among the top 1% of all financial analysts in the world. Now, there's a lot of detail there, okay? But what happens in that first couple hundred words you have just been, you know, overwhelmed in a good way with all of these proof points about Mike's background. And we did this in a way because again, we were selling to other people's customers. So we had to cut through the noise and tell them right away instantly, you know, why they needed to listen to Mike Carr. And the headline has a lot of benefit oriented stuff and some urgency stuff. So once they get to the landing page, they've already been primed with some, you know, what's in it for me. Uh, so now we're telling them, you know, what's in it for you and, and why you need to listen to this guy. And the two themes here that we highlight throughout the entire origin section is that Mike is a military hero and he's a financial computer scientist, whiz kid, you know, genius, you know. And so he's been working with AI. He was one of the first uh, developers of AI in the military for 40 years. He's been on the front lines. He's built all these advanced technology systems and he consults with Goldman Sachs and the treasury department. So right away, you're like, man, this guy, this guy's legit. This guy is a pro. Yeah. Let me, let me make a few comments. Um, first of all, that is so compelling. And secondly, um, I love the fact that you're combining Washington DC and wall street you know, the Defense Department and Goldman Sachs. I mean, the, these are, you know, well-recognized symbols of power and financial influence. These are the people and the places that make things happen in our economy. And um, even if you're a conspiracy theorist, and I know that we'll find them everywhere, um, you're going to say, well, if he knows how to turn the knobs and he's a puppeteer, you know, this is the right background to do it. But if if you're not, you can think, yeah, the, this this is the track record of someone at least I want to learn about. Exactly. And especially in the financial publishing space, the demographic tends to be, you know, as a as a rule of thumb, more conservative, right wing leaning, older white guys. 
And uh, they tend to value the military, you know, uh, patriotism, national pride, military. And right now, you know, with everything going on in the Middle East and in Europe, I mean, there, there's a, a, a undertone in the culture and in the news cycle of, of war, of defense, of patriotism. We've got a lot of news right now about the 2024 uh, presidential election cycle. So we're leveraging on those, those conversations, those stories that are in the mind of the prospect that they're already thinking about. So when they hear military hero, and I'll give some specific examples of that in a moment, you know, their ears have already perked up. The promo continues. It says, today I'm gonna show you how I've combined recent innovations in artificial intelligence with one of my most profitable trading strategies to create the most exciting breakthrough I've ever developed. I call it the Apex Profit Calendar, and the result is an improved version of the same market-beating strategy I used to grow one of my former hedge funds from $80 million to $220 million in just 18 months. But now, thanks to the power of AI, I've enhanced my strategy to be far more profitable and far more accurate than I ever imagined. Now, this is key, David, because what we're doing here is I said one of my former hedge funds. Michael Carr actually ran two hedge funds. You know, that's impressive. And he grew one of those from 80 million to 220 million in a year and a half. Again, a lot of money in a pretty short time frame. But he's saying now because of AI, you know, what's the catalyst for this opportunity? It's AI. And now because of AI, he's made this strategy far more profitable and accurate because that's that's what investors are looking for right now. One of the stories in their mind is that the market is in this state of flux, this unknown territory where they don't know what's going to happen. Is inflation going to come? Is a bull market on the corner? Are we going to fall back into a bear market? Some stocks are up, some stocks are down. Nobody knows what to do. But if we can say this AI system is so accurate, it can predict these returns every single month and we have the proof to back it up, now they're putting their hope in something that goes beyond just another person and in this kind of system that they have this ai based technology and it must work if goldman sachs is hiring this guy and if he used it to grow his hedge funds and if the military endorses him then surely i should be able to believe him and, and he can get those results for me yeah and you know i hear and i i think you back me up on this that the market looks for stability investors look for stability and what you're saying is even in this very choppy, chaotic time, this guy has figured out a way to use AI and his own street smarts or Wall Street smarts to, um, yeah. to, to create stability, to create monthly regular stability, right? Exactly. And in fact, this next copy section says that very explicitly. Mike says, after spending $1.5 million a year each year for three years on research, analyzing, simulating, and scrutinizing 7,000 trades to completely backtest my strategy using data from the last decade, our research shows that the Apex Profit Calendar had the power to stack up double and triple digit gains and come out on top every year for an entire decade without fail. Flipping the narrative over the last few years by making gains of 110%, 174%, and even 100% even so far in 2023. So what we do, and we have visuals, there's a lot of graphics and charts on the screen, and we show that even in the bear market of 2022, Mike's calendar was up massively. In 2020, during COVID, the calendar was up massively. Even in 2023, so far, there's 100% gain. And he had, for an entire decade, a complete winning streak where he he went the entire 10 years without fail producing a, a double or a triple digit gain. So that's massive. He then goes on to say all without trading options, without using a ton of money and without any kind of speculation or risky leverage. What you said earlier, David, people, investors want stability. They also want certainty. Those are kind of the same. They want something that's safe, that's stable, that's going to give them a return on their investment and something that they can count on, you know, hang their hat on, be, be certain about it. And, and I give the explanation line right here. Mike says, because the AI driven system in my Apex Profit Calendar has the computational power to predict in advance what stocks to buy, when to buy them, and when to sell them for the shot at making the most gains all pre-scheduled for you. So now we've hit on certainty, stability, and ease. What I love about this, Joshua, is you and I are talking high level. 
certainty, stability, ease. These are abstract concepts, but when you're in your copy, you're getting right down to the nitty gritty, practical, grounded, hands on stuff. What stocks to buy, when to buy them. I mean, that's a lesson beyond, you know, storytelling, beyond financial copywriting that you're illustrating, I would say, at a masterful level. You, you take in an important concept that somebody wants and you turn it into something they can see. Absolutely. There's a few other stories here I just want to highlight about the origin that build up Mike's background. And what I want to highlight is when you look at these stories, there's two components. There's an actor and there's an action. Somebody is doing something. That's one of the great lessons from Gene Schwartz's book, Brilliance Breakthrough. You know, in your copy, you want to create a movie scene of people doing things, you know, people doing something. And so this is a little bit later on in the copy. Again, we've got proof, we've got charts, we've got gains. What I'm doing here is just sharing some of the origin stories. And Mike says, as I said earlier, I'm re uh, retired Lieutenant Michael Carr. For more than two decades, I was in charge of developing our nation's most highly classified technology and protecting our most sensitive information. I've ha held security clearance for the White House. I've served at the headquarters for the U.S. Strategic Command, overseeing multiple top secret missions with NATO. During the Cold War, I led a team of nuclear missile architects that used state-of-the-art radar systems to track Soviet aircraft from an underground bunker in Iceland. And so what we did here is we, we crammed in a bunch of detail, but like not like nitty gritty stuff, but like just enough to paint the picture. I've held security clearance for the White House. I've overseen top secret missions with NATO, and I'm a Cold War hero. In fact, I oversaw the nuclear missiles pointed at Moscow. You know, and so you, you get those emotions. And, and yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was just thinking this is Jack Ryan level stuff, you know? This exactly. Is, um, what was it? Tom Clancy kind of, I mean, it's it's all true, and and you're and you're not writing in a flowery or imaginative way, but it does have that that sense of excitement and adventure and 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 high stakes. I want to add real quick one thing that maybe hasn't been mentioned, but is definitely ringing clue ring, ringing through. All of these stories inspire confidence. If I'm scared, if I'm worried, especially right now with the economy, I'm lacking confidence. But all of these stories just drive home why I should be confident in this author or in this offer and in this particular guru. So uh, I'm just loving all of this. Yeah, and and Joshua um, did did set the stage for that. He said reassurance stories. Mm. I mean, it, it it's true that that this is an origin story, but there are layers to this, and uh, these are layers. these are great lessons for everyone in any niche. So yeah, please continue. Yeah. There's about 300 words of copy, and I love that. that. That was a great addition. There's about 300 words of copy that continue to unpack this story. It is a little bit longer than what you would typically see in the guru section of a back end. But remember, he doesn't have a front end file. We're selling to other people's customers. So you always have to know what is that conversation in the, in the, the prospect's mind? What is that story? And you always have to keep reminding them why they need to be watching, why they need to be listening, why they need to be believing you, and then ultimately act on your offer. And so there's a couple other things here. I'll just go quickly. He says in the 19, and what this is, this is a, a tactic called, you know, a walk through time, a walk through history. So he said during the Cold War, now in the 1990s, I worked with DARPA, the top secret government agency, to oversee the first installation of the internet at the Pentagon. In the early 2000s, I built the prototype technology that is now used in GPS tracking systems and Google Maps. After that, I was recruited by the National Security Agency to program the first digitally encrypted ID cards for the military. In fact, I recently visited one of my old military bases to update some new government intel. And while there, I'm proud, I'm, I was proud to see that they still use the encrypted ID technology I created for the military more than 20 years ago. So now we say that he's still connected to, he's still connected to the military. He is still connected to D DC. He is still connected to programming all these different things. He really did work with DARPA. He really did work with the NSA. He really did oversee the first installation of the, the internet, the Pentagon. So we knew all that incredible proof was there, but we had to tell it in a story where it reassured the viewer of Mike's credibility. Yeah, that that that's awesome. 
And again, all of these little details, they're, they're right out of Tom Clancy. I mean, I don't imagine you read Tom Clancy in order to write this, but um, it, 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 I'm, I'm not saying it's in his style. It's just the same, same kind of high stakes, um, yeah. fascinating information. Which again is stuff that our market loves. Our market love, you know, you're a Cold War hero. And, and the entire time that we're talking about this, we're showing old pictures of him in the White House, old pictures of him in the 90s, you know, at the Pentagon do, doing all this kind of stuff. So I'm not going to read the rest of this stuff, but, the, the, you know, there's another about 300, 500 words about him, uh, how he was recruited to become the CEO of a fintech company that was connected with a, a major government contract, how he teaches at the New York Institute of Finance, the same place Warren Buffett went to school uh, after graduating from Columbia University, how in his advanced trading classes at the New York Institute of Finance, he teaches the top analysts from, uh, from Bridgewater Associates, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, TD Ameritrade, Bridgewater Associates, Ray Dalio's firm, and Charles Schwab. It goes on to say, if you don't know, the New York Institute of Finance is right across the street from the Federal Reserve's Bank of New York building. It's also next door to the One World Trade Center and 9-11 Memorial. So now again, because when you hear New York Institute of Finance, you think, okay, whatever, that's in New York, Manhattan, whatever, you know, stuffy building. But we say, no, it's right across the street from the largest federal bank building in the country. And it's next door to that 9-11 Memorial and the One World Trade Center. Okay, I, I want to point out another copywriting thing you're doing. It's it's not a trick. It's just a writing technique. New York Institute of Finance. I don't know what's that. Whoosh, swooping down on Google Maps to the street. Across the street, Federal Reserve. Across the street, 9-11 Memorial. That's brilliant. Really good. It's the same place Warren Buffett went to school. You know, hey, I'm a teacher there. You know, I teach people from, you know, so it's like, so, and we continue to go on to that. And, and again, we just, at this point, we're layering on, we're doing proof, we're doing promises, we're telling stories throughout the promo. Um, you know, I, I wanted to share some of the other quick stories that we used, if that's okay. Is that all right? Yeah, please, please do. I think we Absolutely. have a few minutes, yeah, Nathan. Absolutely. Yeah. So these are some of the stories that we use to predict the future in, in this, in, again, phenomenal chapter in your book, David, where you talk about, you know, these are future transformation stories. They are stories that convey an improved status of using your product or service. And they are uh, stories that reveal an unexpected benefit. And so these are just very quick examples. I'm going to read through some of them, though, quickly here. Uh, at one point, sure. in the, and these, are, these aren't in order of the promo. I just kind of pulled them out of the body uh, to, to, to use as example here. But um, as Mike's talking about his calendar, he says, you know what? The Apex Profit calendar outperformed the top hedge funds, beating Ray Dalio's Bridgewater Associates, Seth Klarman's Bopos Group, and Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. In fact, by following each one of the Apex Profit calendar recommendations over the last 10 years, accounting for both positive and negative trades, and that's key because I'm showing not just the winners, but positive and losers, Pro tip, I never say losers in financial copy. I say negative trades. Um, losers has an emotional connotation to it. But he says accounting for both positive and negative trades and reinvesting your earnings after every win, my research shows that the Apex Profit Calendar strategy had the power to achieve a 20,000, 15% gain. That's 96 times the paltry returns of the traditional buy and hold strategy over that same time. And it crushes the returns of top stocks like NVIDIA, Tesla, Netflix, Microsoft, and Google. And by the way, when I say crushing, I mean the complete obliteration. Because my Apex Profit Calendar had the power to produce gains 35 times the size of the 10-year returns of Google. And so I'm going to pause here because when you say 20,000, you think, well, that sounds like a lot. That that sounds ginormous. You know, sure. But what that actually means is we show these bar charts and it's three times the size of Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett's firm. You know, it's 96 times the S&P. And when you think about the conversation going on in the prospect's head, everybody's talking about NVIDIA, NVIDIA, AI, you know, the big tech companies are carrying the S&P and, and it's all about Google and Netflix and Microsoft and Tesla. Well, you know what? We show a bar chart and we show how much bigger 
Mike's cal Apex Profit Calendar strategy is compared to all these other companies. So we're entering the conversation. The story in their mind is that AI is the, the uh, source of profits right now. Well, this is the ultimate AI profit generator, the Apex Profit Calendar. Even though, you know, you're you're not predicting specific, you can turn $10 into $1,000. You're not doing that. Um, people are doing that. I mean, you're making yes. it very easy for people to to do you know perspective back of the envelope math on this stuff i love it yeah there's two final stories i want to share here just really quick uh both about improved status because the entire time we're selling them on hey i want to give you access to the apex profit calendar you can use it we even say I've coded all the technology for you. So we overcome that potential objection that they may not be familiar with tech. We say, I've already done that. In fact, if you can open the calendar on your smartphone, which you can't, everybody can. If you have a smartphone, you can open the calendar app on your smartphone, then you already have everything you need to take advantage of these trades that my Apex Profit Calendar finds. So we've, again, you know, that ease of use, we've eliminated that technology hurdle. So the, 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 the second to last story I wanna say, remember I said there's an actor and there's action. Uh, and, and the viewer is seeing themselves, that future transformation, that future benefit, they're seeing themselves in this role, knowing that when they buy, they get access to the Apex Profit Calendar and they can have these same successes. They can have these same results. And so we say we beat everybody, crushing the returns of billionaire money manager Ken Fisher, CNBC's popular host of Mad Money, Jim Cramer, and even legendary investor Jeremy Grantham. He's a big billion dollar hedge fund manager out of the UK. And so we, we go on to say uh, that if you lay out every single trade, 120 trades uh, for you know 12 trades a year, 10 years in a row, if you lay them all out and you, you put them all down on the floor, 73% of those are, are winners, which uh, we have a thing here that's uh, compared to Wall Street standards, twice the size of the average gain of the, the typical hedge fund. And so we, we, we visualize and we show we've beat everybody, everybody. There's not, a, there's not a hedge fund on Wall Street. There's not a money manager. There's not a billionaire investor who over the last 10 years did better than us. And now we're inviting you to be a part of that. Would you, as the viewer, would you like to join us in, in the trades coming up this year? The last story here, and as you can see, we, we've had like the themes of the military, themes of beating Wall Street, you know, themes of uh, just that national pride. This, I love this. And I, I, I fought hard to include this section, which it wasn't really a hard fight, but I, I, I really made sure we included this. Um, and this was part of the unexpected benefit. Now, I, I think this is an unexpected benefit. When you, so Mike says, when you join me inside Apex today, that's the service name, as an inaugural member, you'll receive one of the rare limited edition challenge coins. At this point in the promo, Mike holds up a challenge coin. This is something that's true in the military. He says, in the military, a challenge coin bears the branches insignia on one side and a creed on the other. Commanding officers present challenge coins to members of their unit to recognize them for a special achievement and to initiate them into a special brotherhood of unique heroes for their service. So when you join me inside of Apex today, I'll personally make sure my team sends you a beautiful commemorative Apex challenge coin complete with our Apex members only stamp of approval. So you can show it to your friends and family and feel the pride of accomplishment about the decision that you made today to become a financial hero for your family for generations to come. When you join me inside of Apex and target incredible, life-changing profits over the next decade. But I only have a limited number of challenge coins available to send out today. That's why you'll want to act fast to make sure you get yours before I run out. You know, and, and I, that's, I just, that's brilliant. I, and, and it's ballsy. I mean, that's cheeky. I, I, I can't imagine you ran into a lot of resistance. But I'm just going to guess that you got at least a few raised eyebrows when you when you said this, and they said what? Yeah, as you know, so, some were like, "It seems kind of cheesy," and blah blah blah. You know what? What we've heard, members love it. They love it. You know why? Because people want to be a part of a community 
our market, they identify with that military rah-rah America, you know, like very, very strong military. They want to be, a, they want to be thought of as a financial hero for generations to be that, you know, that grandpa, that dad, that father, that patriarch that made all of this money. You know, they want that feeling. And I say even explicitly, you know, this stamp of approval. Most people are looking for approval. They're walking around looking for approval. They want to be accepted. They want to feel approved. They want to be uh, not felt like they're different or inferior. They want that that status. Remember I said improve status? We are telling them you yeah. can improve your status when you join Apex today. And to show proof of that, we will send you an Apex Challenge coin. Absolutely. And I just want to take a shameless moment to point out, this is the book, uh, Persuasion Story Code, where Joshua got a lot of the inspiration and even some formulas for putting this incredibly incredible um, promotion together. And I want to thank you for your generosity and really explaining what's going on under the hood. I don't know if people realize how valuable this is, but I do. And I want to thank you for that. I'm going to add thank you. two things real quick before we're out of here. Number one, if you're listening to this, it's because I lost the argument. David, I'm going to try and twist your arm into not having this be a podcast and instead have it be a bonus training that comes when you buy the book because it would be the perfect compendium. Uh, also, a thing that I just love about this is you mentioned like Jack Ryan books. This feels like an action adventure. And I don't know if this was intentional or not, but when we're watching an action movie, it's hard to say. Have you ever been in been in, in a situation where you're watching an action movie and the kung fu fight kung fu fighting's going on, and you want to jump out of your seat and start taking action? That's what this feels like to me. It feels like reading an action adventure novel, and at the end, I feel compelled to take action. It's I, maybe it's for a certain type of demographic, but man, this would get me jumping out of my seat and pulling my credit card out of my wallet. Well, Nathan, with, with all due respect, I don't think you fit the average financial newsletter profile subscriber. I mean, I, and, and, and I, I think for that reason, what we're talking about here goes, goes beyond the demographic. It, 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 in other words, you've tapped into something universal here, Joshua. I think that's why I'm, I, I have said already in this podcast, what you're talking about here, what people can learn from is more valuable than uh, just just inside financial copywriting. There, there are lessons that go across all kinds of copywriting and persuasion storytelling. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that, gentlemen. Uh, I, I, I felt, uh, you know, uh, I felt like this was a good promotion. Uh, and I'm really happy with the successes that we're seeing. Nice. Yeah, especially since you were doing it with both hands tied behind your back. I mean, to to help people understand, no, I, I just got to say this, to help people understand what you were up against, it's like doing, trying to sell a $3,000 product to cold traffic. Not quite as bad, you know, maybe a cold traffic, who'd heard of you, who, you know, who was familiar with your company, but you know, had never, never really been a customer. Now it's not quite as bad because a lot of these people were customers of other products from different Agora companies, but you still had a real disadvantage. Um, if, if it had been a $37 newsletter would have been a heck of a lot easier front end, but, but you did this. And, and so that's, that's great. Yeah. I wanted to give you the opportunity if you had anything to plug or if you wanted to leave some sort of way for people to get in contact with you. You've been on the show seven times. Uh, definitely one of the, one of the copywriters podcasts, seal of approval guys. So if you wanted to plug anything, we'd love to give you the opportunity. You know, I, I would just say, I know we've talked about world of financial copywriting before on the podcast. Uh, those doors are always open. I recently helped a copywriter get hired at Wealth Press. I've helped another one get hired over at Tim Sykes here just in the last last couple of months. Um, helped another one uh, that I'm getting hired over at Legacy. And so um, we are still placing copywriters. The industry is very much going through a period of transformation right now. There's a lot of change. You know, the markets are up one day, down another day. But people are hiring. 
uh, and people inside the world of financial copywriting are getting jobs and they're writing for financial clients. Um, and we are running copy. You know, I, I've got writers in there that I've hired out to write stuff for me for Banyan. And so, um, you know, I, I would plug that. And if anybody's interested in actually watching this promo or going through the transcript, uh, you're welcome to email me or find me on LinkedIn and I can send you the dummy links that we have internal uh, dummy links for this promotion uh, if you'd like to study it. Nice. Okay. W last plug before we're out of here, David, this book is amazing. The examples and the, uh, the inspiration that Joshua took and turned it into this promo is just a, a great testimonial to that. Where can people find the book if they want to get it? Yeah. Persuasion Story Code is available exclusively on Amazon.com. And if you're out of the United States, your, um, your regional Amazon dealer, Amazon.ca or uh, Amazon.fr or Amazon.de, it's on Amazon. And you can get it as a Kindle or as a print book. All right. Uh, yeah. A fantastic episode. Thank you so much for coming on, Joshua, and just sharing such a wealth of knowledge yes, with you. our listeners. And if you enjoyed this episode and you want to check out the other six episodes that Joshua's joined us on, copywriterspodcast.com is the homepage. That's where you can find them at. And until next time, we will catch you later. Catch you later. Thanks, guys.